Mr. Savage is a rich man. He can do something for Dan that we never could do. Show him to the whole world. The whole world? All right, mister. I mean, darling. And so, for the next four years, Dan Patch toured the country in a private car to become the idol of our nation. His appearance at a state fair was called Dan Patch Day, more eagerly awaited by most of us than Christmas. All he did on such a day was try to break his own world's record. Since no pacer could approach his dazzling speed, running horses went with him to make him think he had competition. But what did that matter? We came in multitudes just to see him in action. The money paid for the privilege ran into millions. we are lucky enough to see him or not, old and young alike became familiar with his magic name through the many, many things that bore it. of articles in daily use were named after Dan. A mail order catalog looked like a racing form. Fast talking gentlemen got fancy prices for old horseshoes supposed to have come from a hoof of the great Dan Patch. Had he worn a tent of them, Dan would have been a centipede. And so came a day when Dan Patch was to race for the last time against the slender hand of the stopwatch. More tireless, more difficult to beat than any horse. Among those who came from all over the country to this great event was a small group who knew him best of all. Mommy, she'd like to show you her dog. Yeah. Gentlemen, we welcome back to his home, the pride of Minnesota, the one and only... He was foaled and raised in Indiana! <laughs> Gentlemen, is right, but today, here in our state, which now is his home, Dan Patch will go a mile against time. And, good people, he will be retired after today. The great Dan Patch will never be seen again on any track. I thought those are runners with him. Got to have prompters. Only thing can stay with him is a runner. Goodbye. Yes, you ain't crying over a horse. 